Hello guys and welcome to new tutorial. Today I show you how to move a static mesh with your actor so that your player can move something just with pressing E. So he picks up an item and then he can move it around. In my case it will be a cube. So this here. So add the static mesh then scale it down a little bit to a size that you want. I'm scaling it out this here and then try it out. Play from here. Okay, that's a good size. Okay, now right click into your level, add actor, add trigger. Now scale the trigger a little bit up and then place it right to your cube. So like this here. Okay, that's good. Now go into Kismet. With the trigger selected, go into Kismet. Then a right click, new object we are using trigger 2. Another right click, new event using trigger 2, used. Okay. Now we need a level loaded event because we want to attach the trigger to the cube so that the trigger will be always at the cube and yeah. So right click new event level loaded. Then we need to attach to actor, right click new action actor attach to actor. Connect the loaded and visible within the attachment to the trigger. And then we have to click onto your mesh, right click convert and then convert static mesh to move because we want to move it and it just works with when you convert it to, to a move. So with the mesh selected, right click into Kismet, new object values and interpreted actor tool and connect it with the target. Okay, now we have attached the trigger to the mesh. Now we go up to the trigger tool. Here we have to deselect the aim to interact. You can select it or deselect it. it yeah, you can do whatever you like. You don't have to deselect it, but yeah, I will do that. Then go down to the sequence event here at max trigger count which is to put in zero. So we can use it as many times we like. Okay, now we need a bool variable to compare what Kismet should do. So right click, new variable, bool. Then type in a sequence variable a name, so like key. And then we have to compare the bool. So right click. New condition comparison comparable comparable. Now connect the use with the in, and then we need a named variable. So right click new variable named variable and connect it with the bool. Here at the named variable you find something like find var name. Here you have to type in your name from your bool variable. So in my case key. Here this name here key. You have to type in here. Okay, now. We have to attach the cube to our actor so that we can move it. So right click, new action, actor, attach to actor. And now copy and paste this into Kismet so that we have two attached to actors. After that, we need a bool where. So new action, set variable bool. Now we want to set the variable to true or false. So yeah, click onto it and copy it. So that we have two from there. Now connect the out with the in and the true with one attached to actor and the force with another attached to actor. Okay, now we need a player variable. So right click, new variable, player, player. And, it, and now copy it and connect it with the target. So this target to this player and this target to this player. Here the players you can choose which player can pick up the mesh. In my case, just the player zero will pick up the mesh. So I will deselect all players. Okay, now click onto a mesh. Right click, new object by using interpreted actor tool, and do this two times. Now connect it with the attachment because now we attach the cube to our actor. Okay, here the bool variable, so the set bool variable, if to do a right click, new variable bool, and connect it with the value. Then another right click, new variable bool, and this time we have to set it to true. So here b value, we have to type in 1 so that it is true. Connect it with value. The target is the named variable. So this here from the bones. Okay, now this is our Kismet action. Now we have to just click on to the first attached actor. So this here is the true. And here we have to enable the function detach. Okay, that's it. Let's try it out. Build the passes and try it out. Play from here. Okay, as you can see, we can move through the cube. To solve the problem, Double click onto your cube and here at the collision tab you find collision type 
here you can type in block all or custom default or touch weapons or everything else. I will put in block all. And now try it out. Play from here. So you can see the collision is here. Okay, now going to the radius of the trigger and press E. And now we see with the cube in our hand. You can move it around and when we press press E another time, it will stand there. So press E. And you can move around, E, stand there. Yeah, that's how to do a pick up. Yeah, let's call it pick up system. So they can pick up a mesh and move it around. I hope you guys liked it. And when there are any problems, just leave a comment and I will answer it. So until next time.